Hello everyone, welcome to Lover Rebel. How's it, Jared? Lekker, lekker. Lovely, Lord, man. Dear God. Oh, <sighs> so, you guys are probably wondering, you've been seeing this on our Instagram story for quite some time this week. This is a CLK 63 AMG. Um, it has a couple of things done. It's got some electronics work on it. It's got some other wheels and tire setup. It's got H&R lowering kit. So, pretty interesting stuff here. Now, there's a twist for this video. I'm not going to be driving. I'm going to be passenger because I've been driving this car since Wednesday already. Jared will be doing the driving in this video because I feel like I'm going to be able to talk a bit more in the passenger seat and explain to you guys why I think you should not by a C63 or a CLK63 in 2018. I know, controversial, but why you should also buy one, it's kind of compelling. It's kind of compelling, because I think we both kind of feel the yeah. same about it. Yeah. Um, a lot of positives and negatives about yeah. it. Yeah, but yeah, thanks so much to Triple R Stylin for actually sorting the score out for us for the week. As you can see, they do the dip on the score. They are in Weinberg. I will leave all the, the links in the description. I will leave all the information in the description box below um, where you guys can check them out because they do pretty interesting work. But yeah, yeah click somewhere on top, it'll take you to the 3355i video where I actually talk to Ryan about what they do at Triple R. Oh god, check the seatbelt little stuff coming towards Yo. you. To put the seatbelt on, it's so uh, cool. Feel light as usual. Yeah, okay. I think we can talk about that. The first. Are we gonna make it there? Yes. For sure. The first thing we can talk about, I think, is the fuel consumption. Yeah, cheap. It's um, well, at petrol at 16 rand 50 odd. Um, it's pretty atrocious. It's pretty hectic. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but I think it's. I'm not gonna lie, no. I think it's worth it. Because I really enjoy my time with it. And it I is it is a nice car. If you can afford the fuel, then why not? Because you get this properly naturally aspirated sound. Yes. And your the sound on this car is crazy. It's intoxicating. Uh, like we were saying this this car is a bolt-in Barbara Streisand in the exhaust. <laughs> like playing music into your ears. <laughs> it's it's like big, an orchestra. <laughs> sure. It's it's beautiful. It sounds so like nice. I've been driving after the sound since I've got this car and I think we both have been like just enjoying ourselves a bit for the time. That's beautiful. Um, things to know about this car, so this is not a 507 horsepower car. This is basically no. It's a normal 6.3 AMG, however, it's got the Motronic software. Sure. And what that Motronic software means is it's got the it's probably making 20, 30 kilowatt more. Yeah. Um, and it's got the little center boxes removed and decatter and whatnot as well. So nice. Yeah. And the stock rear boxes. So this is this the black edition? No. Not the black. No, no, no. But it's basically the power output is black edition power uh, output. Or maybe even. A if bit not more. If not more. So yeah. So we refer to this as a black edition. Uh, just that sound. This is a proper Sunday cruiser. Dude! And like for example, if if you take the C63 AMG, it's pretty much the same. Um, Identical, the, it's yeah. got the 7-speed gearbox, automatic gearbox as well. And it's like for example the 4-door, the 5-door sedan, like it's a family car. Yeah. And I mean if you want the extra power, you got the extra power there when yeah. you need it. So stay for stay till after the cinematics because we're actually gonna do some flybys with the car. You guys can hear what it sounds like from the outside, it's extremely loud. Super loud. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you guys like the sound and stuff, please hit that thumbs up button. My brother and I actually went last night to watch um, Venom. Um, pretty good movie. I'm not like we both kinda expected more, so if you guys wanna go see it, and you guys are Marvel fans, like it doesn't like line up to like the Marvel y <laughs> style of movie. It was good, but like... <laughs> I wonder how people are going on over the new Spider-Man here. You see guys, but you guys have too much ducks here, no? Yeah, long duck. One more thing guys, thanks so much for Race Bread for sponsoring Jared and I t-shirts. Yo, sorry, I'm not wearing mine. Yeah. I had to wash it this morning due to yesterday's long hot day. And yeah. a little bit of Luckily, a I don't day. stink as much as you, so I can actually wear mine. No, it's just that I actually, it doesn't have to stink, I still just wash my clothing, you know? Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Such a good sound. 
Um, so I honestly haven't pushed this car around any corners because um, it's a bit low and the tires keep rubbing on the arches. So I'm not gonna really do. Uh, that's why Jared's driving because we're not gonna do. Uh, like we're not gonna push it around corners. To be honest with you guys, um, it's more straight line fun and you know enjoying the noise of the car. And also, it's been very hot. So it's a bit dangerous. Yeah. The car is very hot. Yeah. One more thing. Also, reliability. It's questionable. Um, Look, Mercedes-Benz has had a very tough time with this generation specifically of CLK I think from gearboxes to to a couple of other I know the engines are quite reliable I, I, know, I are, can imagine Yeah, the engines are pretty reliable but gearboxes, I mean this thing's gearbox goes crazy sometimes no? One thing that I find really funny is I don't know if you heard early on when bit of acceleration early on in the video like I just tap the throttle when you go over a bump because the throttle is so like sensitive sensitive but it's like very like loose yeah then your foot like like there was a bump and it goes oh, oh, yeah because your foot also bounces on and the also nothing compares to naturally aspirated engines definitely I don't care what you what people say about oh turbo charges we're gonna make it feel as naturally aspirated as possible uh, it will never rev and feel like a big capacity this guy if you rev it's just like oh, yeah, I think, I think, give it a rev or two, because it sounds so good. Yo, it's so aggressive. Guys, so before we go further quickly, um, with the exhaust cap, I just want to take you guys for a quick tour around this car, because a lot of you have been asking for us to do, I keep forgetting, it slips my mind. I'm sorry for the wind here. Yeah. So we have four tailpipes, um, that's because it's 63, I think 55's only had one side exit tailpipes. It is a two-door coupe and what's interesting about this uh, car is the fact that the back windows can roll down so when you're driving inside it you have this whole space open up here and it's really nice I like, I like this yeah like, it looks like so yeah it's so cool so um the seats is uh, yeah well I don't mind it eh? this is actually pretty cool because it's really bucketed like you actually sit in here yeah they're not the prettiest seats though and probably the not a very pretty steering wheel either but ah man it holds up to the time nothing's no rubber is coming off the switches like in other cars like here you see nothing is like worn so pretty interesting even the cluster looks quite nice even, even another thing is i think on the black edition all of this and over here that's all actual carbon real yeah carbon. this is just like the a, plastic um let me show them the engine again oh yeah so this is what supposedly is what you call an m156 or is it the M157? One of the two, I'm a bit confused there. Um, they are hand built in Germany. And yeah, well, 6.2 liters, nice massive pistons, no turbocharger. Put it in this stuff, and I see it as a dual intake. No? Yeah, this is air filter sit here. One year and one year. So that serviceable is quite easy. Oil filter is over here. Pretty simple to get to. But yeah, what a big motor, eh? Yeah, bruh, 6.2 liter V8. Anyway, let's get that flyby speed. He left some black lines, yo, all the way into down there. Guys, you don't actually understand the skill that Niaz has when he drives. Like, I've never ever seen someone control a car like that. <laughs> you, you know, he, he 
he's so tiny and stuff, and when you actually look at him, you're like, <laughs> I, I don't know if I should be saying this on camera, but you you guys know how the C63 AMG, AMG drivers are, and all 63s, <laughs> back end out. This guy leaving squiggly lines doing this, I'm standing outside busy filming this. My, you didn't um, get my, the last one. Yeah, I didn't get the last one. My ears were bleeding. You guys don't even understand the skill of this guy. No, man. It, it, it's actually ridiculous. <laughs> like, because... <laughs> I've never been in a real world drive car like this with him, ever. I thought we get an M4 or something, <laughs> but... Dude, guys, the, this guy... <laughs> you don't understand his, his, his <laughs> skills, this guy... <laughs> leaving zigzags across the road, <laughs> back always, end out. <laughs> I always tell people the key with like a high power air drive car is don't go near the throttle till you know what you're doing, because you can get hurt. You this can get guy, hurt the, the, roads, the road's too small for him to make it, you do wow, back end out. <laughs> I don't drive like it all the time, I'm just saying so, please. Back end out, skidding, first, second, third gear, spinning, spinning, <laughs> leaving at like 150 meter long black line. Yeah, but this thing's so powerful, like it's spinning to the third gear. <laughs> so, so, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'll be, I hope you guys don't have too much wind noise, um, but it's so hot, guys. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, and also, this is my first like high-powered rear-wheel drive car that I've ever been in. Yeah. Um, well, forever, like not before I was even on the channel. Yeah. And th there's really a much different feel because it's pushing the car. You can feel like sometimes you scared that yeah. the car gets grip and it whips. Yeah. But I mean, if you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing. If you know your car, you know your car. And I mean, it accelerates so odd. It does. Like, if you're actually going it's at so the, loud. The thing God. is, I, I wish you could feel what I felt with the trash control off. You, 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 you know, what's the name? Where, which way are you going? Left. Yeah. Um, What's the name? Like, I, I don't even know what to say. But this car, it's just, we, we were literally like five minutes with, with the filming of, of, of that that you guys yeah. just saw. And you you guys don't even like understand um, like the, the power and how loud this yeah. car is. And we had to like just film five minutes to get out the air because the car's so loud. Yeah. And the, what's nice is with the ESP on, it's not going to give you slip. Yeah, and I, I, I would like that. Yeah. I would like that because I, I don't want to get too crazy, you know, I'm still, still yeah. in the making. Yeah, we had to turn it, I had to turn the shuttle off because we're not going to get that that look on camera that we want to off the line. It's going to look very slow. It's going to look boring. Yeah, and I was also like very... I'm very, sus I don't like, this car doesn't belong to Jared and I, yeah. so um, we're That's very, very like, careful. yeah, careful to turn it off, but in order to do that shot, we had to turn it off. Like, we're also, like, super excited for this, because we have never, I mean, we've had the car since when? Thursday. Since Thursday, Thursday. Yeah. And we have never actually put our foot down, put our foot like down that, because yeah. it's too dangerous on, like, where there's other cars, and yeah. so it's, like, we're actually excited for this, because it's our first time where yeah. Nias can actually put his foot down, we can actually feel what the car feels yeah. like. And Liberty was about being responsible, like, we go to yeah. a quiet place, we go to a place where we're not going to get into trouble. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll put and our foot trust down me, Nias knows what he's doing, guys. <laughs> We we'll put our foot right down more now in the um, you know to Durban Road, so we should have a bit more space there to play with. And maybe just a bit on the uphill, yeah. Yeah. Because then the yeah. will be like under. Yeah. But I think you must hit that kick down switch. Yeah. like have the traction control off because then it really <laughs> butterfly <laughs> goes crazy <laughs> but yeah we'll put a foot down some more now in our area because yeah. like between the walls and stuff you get this nice beautiful sound the big question at the start of this video was why not to buy this car i think purely because <laughs> of maintenance costs and um one more other thing don't think that you can buy this car and you have the skill to drive <laughs> yeah you need to know what you're doing but i think someone who's gonna buy it is surely knows how to try and such a car. But the Motronics does make it a lot more aggressive than like, I've driven, I've driven standard C63s and they're not as wild as this one. Um, this one lights up the rear tires so fast, it's, 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 it's ridiculous. One more thing, this thing has a most reversed re reserve tank. No? Yeah, we've been on two bars and we did all of that. Yeah. <laughs> now fuel consumption, it averaging the way we were driving like idiots now. 
it's averaging yes. 16 liters to 100 kilometers and don't worry yes, yes. that's I've seen 23 24 this car <laughs> GTR fuel consumption guys guys thank you so much for watching this video Jared and I we enjoyed it thoroughly eh? this thing is a monster Yo, it's, it's, <laughs> it's insane. It's insane. Can you move a bit? Can you like, can you squat a little bit? Or can you get me a box? Thank you. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching again. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, share with friends and family. Be free, be you. Liberable, out.